Alright, we're in a little circle. Uh, for some reason it randomly turned off. I don't know. But I figured this would be a good time just to kind of make a little uh, update on the crop. Uh, this is the side that has the most alfalfa on it. Millet's coming along good. Our alfalfa's getting getting pretty deep. Um, you know, knee high on a lot of it. I don't know why my pivot turned off, but it did for some reason. Kind of waiting for this thing to turn on here. I uh, may have had like a little power surge or something. The end tower is moving. I can see that. Um, so all this is no-tilled through here. You can see that I've got some toxicity problems because of how thick the alfalfa is. Uh, that's, that's a problem that will be remedied next year. And yeah, we'll just have to have to deal with that then. Uh, I should have done something with it this year. I was just kind of in a hurry, but this will make good feed. It really will. I need to put up uh, off this 30. Uh, I got 60 acres total. I need to put up about 200 bales. So, you know, that's going to be that's going to be a a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, size goal. For this stuff I think it'll do it but I don't know um, I'm hoping it will do it just have to see how thick it gets and I that's just kind of a goal I'd like to have I I don't haven't run the numbers on it yet to see exactly what I I do need um, that's what the old ladies for but I've got some nozzles like right here and a few of them that are kind of messed up. The calves been eating on them, and uh, it's gonna have to replace them. I don't typically like driving through here. I have a road, but this thing uh, turned off, and I I wanted to come down through here and check this. So uh, you can see, I mean, it's nice and heavy, really nice and heavy. So I'll just have to watch this and kind of come back to you here. My other my other millet's looking really good. This just, you know, got kind of choked out by the alfalfa. But, you know what? It'll make good cow hay. It'll make excellent cow hay. Probably just not going to put off the tons that we want. Anyways, this is our, uh, our hybrid pearl alfalfa mix, I guess. We'll see how it turns out. And as you can see, super, super dry.